So, the asteroid problem with um, the curve 3 to the 2 thirds minus x to the <coughs> 2 thirds all to the 3 halves. On the interval from 3 root 2 over 4 to 3. So what we'll be doing is finding the arc length of this part. And then there's 8 identical parts that make up the whole curve. So we'll have to multiply by 8. The arc length formula is the integral from A to B. The square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. So our function is 3 to the 2 thirds minus x to the 2 thirds the entire thing raised to the 3 halves. So our derivative is 3 halves that exact same thing raised to the 1 half chain rule multiply by the derivative of the inside negative two-thirds x to the negative one-third simplifying that we'll have twos canceling the threes canceling so we end up with our derivative being, watch out for that sign, it won't matter if you forget it because we're about to square, but let's go ahead and write the derivative as 3 to the 2 thirds minus x to the 2 thirds all to the 1 half the entire thing divided by x to the 1 third because it's a negative 1 third exponent. Alright, we need to square that. So you square the numerator, you square the denominator. The numerator is a square root, it's to the half power. So we just get what's underneath, 3 to the 2 thirds minus x to the 2 thirds. Square the denominator, if you square x to the 1 third, you get to multiply those exponents, so that's x to the 2 thirds. So the denominator is x to the 2 thirds. But something just doesn't sit right about that. Let's simplify it before we go to add 1. Whenever you see multiple terms in the numerator, but only a single term in the denominator, you can break it into two parts. And so we'll have 3 to the 2 thirds over x to the 2 thirds minus 1, because it's both x to the 2 thirds over x to the 2 thirds. That's convenient, because the next step is to add 1 to that quantity. And so when we go to add 1, you know that 1's cancel out, and we end up with just 3 to the 2 thirds over x to the 2 thirds. This step didn't want to call that 3 over x, the whole thing to the 2 thirds. But the next step in the process is to take the square root. So let's try that out. 3 over x, the whole thing to the 2 thirds and then take the square root. And so, if you're taking the square root of something that's to the two-thirds power, then you end up to the one-third power. Three over x to the one-third. Okay. So that is what we would need to integrate from 3 root 2 over 4 to 3. Um, instead of writing it like that, because it's it makes us think that we might have to use natural log when we integrate that, we're going to write it as 3 to the 1 third over x to the 1 third. 
and then writing it that way we can see that it isn't any kind of a log at all in fact we can take this constant pull it outside and then treat the x of the one third like a x of negative one third when integrating three to the one third that integral x to the negative one third dx okay integrate x to the negative one third you get add one to it so we get x to the two thirds so what we're looking at is this three to the one third that's on the outside and we have to take x to the two thirds from that three root two over four up to three okay now the three root two over four to the two thirds looks a bit troublesome let's calculate that on the side three root two over four the entire thing to the two thirds let's just take each piece to the two thirds we'll have three to the two thirds the square root of two is two to the half and then we raise that to the two thirds and the denominator four to the two thirds and so what we end up with is a three to the two thirds a two to the one third because these twos cancel and then for the four to the two thirds let's write that as two squared to the two thirds so the twos can react with each other and um, two of power two of powers to the f multiply so we end up with three to the two thirds two to the one third all over two to the four thirds and then when we subtract those one third minus four thirds because they're the same base these two will combine to just be a two in the denominator three to the two thirds all over two that was a lot of work fortunately but we needed it let's just mark it off to the side here so back to the integration we'll have our three to the one third on the outside plug in a three so we get three to the two thirds plug in the three root two over four we just did all that work to find out that that's also uh, starts off at least at three to the two thirds and the whole thing is divided by two so we just need to simplify this by distributing the three to the one third back on the inside we'll have three to the one third times three to the two thirds minus three to the one third times three to the two thirds but over two and those guys conveniently end up as threes because you add the exponents and so so we end up with uh, three minus three halves okay and that'll be three halves that's not the end of the story though that is the length of this piece right here. So the total arc length will be the 3 halves times the 8 for a final answer of 12. It's a tough problem, but the algebra of simplifying right here was trouble and then the simplifying of the derivative squared was difficult as well very good